As the weather cools down, more people are hitting the trails. And one Valley woman is advocating for hiking safety after her brother died at Camelback Mountain. 12 News journalist Adriana Loya has her life-saving message. On a rare gloomy day in Phoenix, Camelback Mountain's Echo Canyon Trail bustling with hikers, but one in particular here on a special mission. His death was so preventable. To advocate for hiking safety. He made a poor choice. And that's what I wanted to share with others of what not to do. In 2011, Chelsea McKell's brother Clint died while hiking here. He went off trail with a friend without proper equipment and fell 50 feet to his death. He was just 25 years old. He was always my protector, but now I try to be that protector for hikers. Since his death, Chelsea has made it her life's mission to share his story in hopes of saving others. I needed to make meaning of his life. I needed it where he didn't die in vain, but also where other lives could be spared and not our family have to endure this tragedy for the rest of our lives. In 2014, a safety sign with Clint's picture and story was installed three quarters into the trail after years of advocating with the city. She volunteers talking to hikers on the mountains and handing out water and even reaching out to local resorts. I've gone undercover before where I just was wearing flip-flops, had one bottle of water, it was over 100 degrees, and some of them is alarming what they were telling guests, saying that's fine hiking flip-flops on Camelback, just walk slow, bottle of water is fine. So they weren't really educating them. With temperatures dropping, Chelsea pushing for safety measures to be followed. You have to be hydrated before you even begin your hike when you're halfway done with your water turn back around. Just listen to your body, just you know evaluate yourself because if today is not the day to hike and you're kind of bummed out that you didn't weren't able to, you can come back another day more prepared because the mountain will still be here and so will you. Chelsea says she'll continue her passionate work, sharing her message in hopes of saving even just one life. I want you to come home safely to your family. Adriana Loya, 12 News. All right.